Tomorrow, of course, is a day forever etched into American history, 9-11. 19 years ago now, nearly 3,000 Americans were killed in coordinated attacks targeting the World Trade Center, the Pentagon, and United Flight 93. Images like these are burned into our national memory from that Tuesday morning in 2001. The Twin Towers of the World Trade Center were struck by planes and eventually collapsed. Then the Pentagon struck as well, and then hijacked Flight 93 crashed in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. As we've done every year since, tomorrow we will again remember. In New York City, there will be the annual tribute in lights, the double blue beam symbolizing the towers. In addition, building facades and spires will be illuminated blue across the city. But not even such a solemn day can escape the realities of the pandemic. The memorials will be different. A tribute tonight in Shanksville, Pennsylvania, but tomorrow the memorial there will be closed to the public. A private ceremony there for family will be streamed online. In New York City, there will be the traditional moment of silence as well as the ringing of the bell of hope, but the crowd at Ground Zero is expected to be far smaller than in years past, and those who do come are being asked to please stay socially distant. As always, the victims' names will be heard, but not live this year, rather from a recording from years past. And at the Pentagon, a scaled back ceremony this year. There will be several speakers, but no crowd. Instead, their remarks will be carried online. News Nation correspondent Tom Negevin is live in Manhattan with more of what 9 11 will look like this year. Tom. Much different this year, Rob. Vice President Mike Pence expected to be here in New York City tomorrow for 9 11 Memorial. Vice President Donald Trump and his Democratic challenger Joe Biden both expected to travel to the Flight 93 Memorial in Shanksville, Pennsylvania. At the World Trade Center site in Lower Manhattan, final preparations today for sort of a hybrid 9-11 ceremony. One at the September 11th Memorial Plaza, the other on a corner nearby. Parallel events reflecting the divide over how to mark this somber anniversary in a time of social distance. Many memorial services across the country reduced to virtual events this year. For others, there's just no coming back in 2020. The Harleys sit idle in Scranton, PA. The annual motorcycle ride there, a victim of its own success. It drew a high of 9,000 riders one year, way too many to risk the spread of COVID-19. In many cases, the obstacles this year only inspire greater creativity. Thousands and thousands of flags planted around the country. This is Midland, Texas. And this is St. Mary's, Indiana. Flags as far as the eye can see. That's the partnership, is allowing those in the community and around to come out to remember their loved ones. The New York State Museum in Albany will be closed to the public this year, but with a display of artifacts that can be seen from outside the building. While the 9-11 Memorial and Museum in New York, the elaborate setup that's gone on every year since 2002 is missing now. Stages replaced with stations for hand sanitizer. The problem with stages, organizers decided, is where they are, people gather. And that can't happen this year. One tribute that will go on, the tribute in light. Twin beams piercing the sky in memory of the fallen towers, nearly canceled because of virus concerns until a public outcry sparked a change of heart. They will shine again in 2020. The Pentagon also scaling back its 9-11 memorial. Family members of the victims will not be on site tomorrow. Like here, their names will be heard on a recording.